Okay, good day everyone. Today's video will be looking at the proof by mathematical induction. Um, if you're doing A-level math, wherever you are in the world, or in the Caribbean, if you're doing CAPE, whether Unit 1 or Unit 2, you may be required at some time to execute this topic where you're going to be proving by mathematical induction. Um, it is just a simple three-step process. One, we test the basis for truth. Two, we assume all right, that what we test was true using some other variable. Normally, we use K. And lastly, we want to prove that it is true for K plus 1. I trust that you will watch this video to the end. Like and subscribe. Thank you. In this video, we will be looking at proof by mathematical induction. So we want to prove that 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus da, 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 plus 12 plus 15 going on in that fashion plus 3n is equal to 3n n plus 1 all over 2. We want to prove this by mathematical induction. In the proof for mathematical induction, there are three phases. One, there is a basis that we test for the truth. Alright? So, a basis that we test for the truth. So, these are ends all right end term so this would have been this is a series because we're adding so it's summing up each time so what we're saying when n is equal to one the sum is going to be three we're also saying when n is equal to two meaning the sum of these two we should get nine and when n is equal to three meaning the sum of these three we should get nine and nine eighty so when we say test for truth we want to test for truth where n is equal to 1. So we want to test this by plugging in 1 where n is and see if it's going to work out to give us 3. So that would have been some basis that there is some truth to what we're doing. So what I'm going to do now is to do the test. I'm going to do the test. So 3 should be equal to... So this is I'm testing where n is 1. 3 is equal to 3 times 1, open bracket, 1 plus 1 all over 2. So if we finalize this, 3 times 1 is 3 outside, times 1 times that, that is 2 all over 2. So, so we see the cancel in there, 2 cancel 2. So we're seeing for real that when n is 1, then the term, the first term, would be 3. So that's the first step, we test for truth. In the second step, what we're going to do now is just going to assume that n is equal to k. So we're going to try something else other than n to see if this holds, right? So let's assume, all right, we want to assume that n is equal to k. So this means we're going to rewrite this so now we're going to assume that n is equal to k. We are going to rewrite everything and substitute k for n in this original form. All right, because I have space issues, I will, you know, rub out each time to get what I want. So now we have the test for two. So it's going to test that 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus da 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 in that fashion plus 3 k is equal to 3 times k, k plus 1, all over 2. So now we want to assume that this is true because we just proved that n is equal to 1. So now we, 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 we substitute, we're substituting n, k for n, and we, we are assuming that this is true for k. The final step 
is the fact that we now need to take it one step further. We need to prove this um, true for n, for k is equal to 1. So in this case, we're going to let n is equal to k plus, plus 1. So we're going to prove this true for k plus 1. All right? So what we're going to do now is to substitute, rewrite this, substituting um, k plus 1 wherever we have k. And then we're going to see what happens. So we're writing, rewriting this now for k plus 1, right? All right, so in this case, we're looking at 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus that, 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 that. All right? And, and, and then you would have a 3k plus k, 3k plus 1. That will be the final. So this is just one more of uh, 3. So, all right. Man, I never write this better. 3 times k plus 1. All right? So we want to see that too for that. But what we will have on this side is going to be 3 times k plus 1. And then beside this, we'll actually have k plus 1 for this k, but there is always a plus 1 also out there. All right? And all of this must be over 2. So if we simplify this part, we actually have, we actually have 3 k plus 1, k plus 2, all over 2. Let me simplify this. Look at that. So what we're saying now, we want to prove all of this for k plus 1. Alright, so that means, that means I'm supposed to get this, like 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus da 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 3 plus k plus 3 k plus 1, all of that must equal to, to this. Now, it's, I'm supposed to prove that this left side is equal to that. But what we do notice is that on the left side here, all of this, from the 3 adding up, up to the 3 plus k, we had that already. All of this, up to 3 plus k, this is equal to 3k times k plus 1 over 2. We, we already know this. All right? Up to this part. Therefore, if we add this to it, I think I wrote that bad. All right? 3k plus 1. All right, people, I made an error there, so that's it. Sorry. So 3 k plus 1 over 1, we are supposed to use this and it should equal to that. So, so let us see quickly if we could multiply this out. In our multiplication, um, basically what we're going to do is just to do some regular fractions. So it's going to be this time this, this time this, all over that. So hopefully you would have some algebra skills up your sleeve. So we're looking at 1 times this. So it's going to be 3 here. Yeah k plus 1, because 1 times anything is itself 2 times that, so it's going to be 2 times 3, I'm going to put 6, alright, and then I'm going to put k plus 1, they're all over 2 times 1, which is 2. So, if I take this further, and I do cancel, alright, let me see if I could go a little bit further, yeah, I could go a little bit further down, so let, let us simplify this quickly. So I'm looking at, what I'm looking at now is 3k squared plus 3k, so that's 3k squared plus 3k plus 6k plus 6. All of this is over 2. And it should equal to 3 times k plus 1, k plus 2, all over 2. This should be that when I'm finished. Okay, as I said, I have some space problems. I'm going to bring what I have down here all the way up by the top, okay? All right, so I'm bringing this all the way up to the top. All right, all the way up to the top. Okay, all the way up to the top. Need some space to work. 
All right, so here it is. Let's, let me bring this up. So I'm looking at, at the top, I have 3k squared plus 3k plus 6k plus 6 all over 2, and it should equal to 3 k plus 1, k plus 2, all over 2. Alright, so my next step is to simplify this. So I'm looking at 3k squared plus 9k plus 6 over 2. And then you can see if I, if I do take this, so I'm going to just work this on this side, because I'm still aiming at that. So if I do take this, if I, I realize now that, hey, I have a common factor here of 3. I could factorize out the 3. So if I factor out the 3, I'm having k squared plus 3k plus 2 all over 2. This is me factorizing that. I need a little space to go further. I hope this is not affecting what you're doing. Alright, so. Alright, remember I'm still trying to get by that. But if, if, if I do factorize this, alright. So here it is, but if I factorize this, what I'll do get at the top is a K, a K, alright. I'll get a K, a K, I'll get a plus 1 and a plus 2. All right, if I factorize out this, all right, and it is all over 2. So, so now you could see that I took this the left side and I actually work it to get back the original thing. So there it is. There is the proof by mathematical induction all right, that 6 plus, no, 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15, da, 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 and so on, plus 3n is equal to, 3 over n, no, is equal to 3n into n plus 1 all over 2. All right, so basically, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe and like this video. Thank you.